Welcome to the show, guys. Listen, glad to have you here this morning. Uh, there's a lot going on in the financial si situation in the world today. Uh, we got Bitcoin. Has it has big question mark? Has it put in its lowest lows? And well, okay, let's get the show started. Um, let's start the charts right here. And uh, let's the uh, first thing let's look at. Let's go ahead and uh, let's look at uh, Bitstamp and look at Bitcoin. And uh, I'll tell you what I'm seeing here. Uh, I'm seeing a uh, a price of sixty three hundred and ninety nine dollars. Uh, and we're seeing uh, bottoms being made. Uh, the first bottom uh, took it all the way down to under under six thousand. Uh, then uh, we've had a bottom made here that took it down just under six thousand, and she bounced back. And now we just made a bottom just under uh, just under six thousand dollars again. With the lowest bottom was fifty seven seventy four. Now this bottom's not quite as low at fifty nine ninety five. Uh, and then she's starting to turn upwards again this morning. Uh, could that the 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 highs aren't quite as high either. It's consolidating. Um. It's consolidating on a price. It's finding fair market value, and it seems like it's put in a uh, a floor underneath it now. Six thousand dollars is the floor under Bitcoin. Will it break through that support level? Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a sixty forty split. I'm going to say sixty percent chance she's going to move only move up from here, and she's going to hold that support at six thousand. Uh, I'm going to give it a 60% chance that it's going to move upwards from here. Uh, I'm going to put a 40% chance that she'll break through support and go to the downside. So there is a downside risk. Uh, and what I'm going to say is that uh, if it does move to the downside, I do not think it's going to go below 4000 I don't think you're ever going to see Bitcoin below $4,000 again. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at cryptocurrency market capitalizations. Uh, Bitcoin is extremely strong in the cryptocurrency market capitalizations today at over 51%, 51.1% at a market cap of $217 billion. Uh, this is an industry. This is the coins. Let me present to you the coins. And today we see a few movers that are moving up, you know, in value quite, quite nicely. Uh, looks like Tether's taking a big jump upwards. It looks like Stellar's taking a big jump upwards. And we see a lot of coins in the green today. Uh, we see, I see myself personally, I think these are buying opportunities. Look at EOS. $5.19 each. Look at Litecoin. 60 bucks each. Oh my God. That's a bargain right now. I'm going to tell you, uh, Watch my other show on my other channel, the Delta Report, and I go into a lot of detail about Litecoin this morning on this on this morning's episode and why it's such a bargain. Now, going back in history, back when Litecoin was three dollars a piece, I was telling you it was a bargain, and I said, "You guys, look at Litecoin. The three bucks, three dollars and eighty cents each." Okay, it's all been history, you know, because we saw them go all the way up to 350 bucks. You haven't saw nothing yet. You haven't saw nothing yet. I think we're in the end we're going to see $2,000 Litecoins probably, you know. And so they're 60 bucks a piece this morning. So these are bargains to be had. Uh, let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average now. 57 points up. Uh, this is a market that's probably going to drop off as the day progresses. Uh, and the reason, one of the reasons why I'm saying that is uh, there's a crisis going on in Turkey right now. Uh, I'm going to get into that toward the end of the show here. Let's take a look at oil prices right now. Uh, we're down just a little bit, just a smidgen, 0.39%, uh, uh, no, 39 cents, which is 0.58% down right now on the day and uh, we're looking at the one year chart right here um uh, in oil which is seen a decline in uh going back to 
uh, what, July 30th, we saw a peak of uh, $70.06. And since then, we've seen a decline, uh, over over $3 decline uh, in the oil price over the last couple months. And the shorts had a few ups and downs, but overall, it's declining in price. Uh, this, to me, is a bearish signal. Uh, what it's indicating to me, oil is the canary in the coal mine and, and, uh, and uh, for a lot of things, and so is copper. I should probably take a look at the copper price, but what I see is the extraction of, of uh, I think we're starting to see effects from the extraction uh, of the, of the uh, Federal Reserve uh, rolling over their bonds every month and increasing this amount of bonds that they're rolling over and basically pulling that money out of the system they're withdrawing liquidity and bitcoin and the cryptocurrencies have been injecting liquidity that's the only force that's been really injecting liquidity other than tax rebates uh, and so but we're we're seeing that bitcoin that's a one trick pony it was 750 billion dollars it dropped down to 200, roughly $200 billion. That's like $500 billion of liquidity injected into the system. And the Fed has been sucking that exact same liquidity out of the system. Pretty much that same amount. Uh, at $50 billion a month. And so now the Fed's going to continue, but the Bitcoin was a one-trick pony uh, on sucking the liquidity, uh, of pouring that liquidity into the system. Uh, and, and so unless Bitcoin's pumped up again, um, the Fed's going to have trouble uh, coming down the pike. Uh, so and I said unless Bitcoin goes up significantly again uh, to increase liquidity into the system. Uh, Bitcoin is a liquidity pump. And the Fed is act they were. The Fed was a liquidity pump. You remember during the days of quantitative easing? They were the liquidity pump. Now, cryptocurrency is, is the liquidity pump. And the Federal Reserve now is a, is, a, is a vacuum cleaner. They're sucking liquidity now. They've changed their position completely, 180 degrees from what they were. Uh, let's go into silver here. Silver today. Uh, silver was going down this morning, like spiking directly downwards, and now it's spiking directly upwards. Uh, we're at fifteen dollars and twenty cents. We're down seven cents on the day, but that could all change. We could come out even with the board today, later today, and I think very likely we will. Uh, I think that silver's on its way back up to about fifteen thirty-five, probably. Uh, by by later today, it's probably going to be back up and made and caught up with some of these losses. Um, that's what it looks like it's doing to me. Bonds and rates today. Well, we're looking at rising bond yields today, uh, but uh, I don't really see anything uh, moving. Uh, uh, I mean, look, look at the 10-year, 2.88. It's got room to move up a couple digit points without without going over 3%, you know. And uh, so I expected these bond yields right now to be, these bond rates to be a lot higher than what they are. And so I see them having room to move. Uh, let's take a look at the U.S. dollar index today. 96.19. The dollar's riding high. It's riding strong. Uh, we had a straight push upwards here earlier today. Uh, and, it, and, it's, and it's holding it. And uh, I think an awful lot of this has to do with Turkey. What's going on in Turkey? Uh, take a look at this. Take a look at this. The Turkish lira plunges 14%, 14% versus the dollar after Trump authorizes double metal tariffs on tur Turkey. And, and get this, take a look at how he authorized these metal purchases in a tweet of all things. He says, I have just authorized a doubling of tariffs on steel and aluminum with respect to Turkey and their currency, the Turkish lira. That tweet alone made the Turkish lira fall uh, 
the power of a tweet. It's getting to be unbelievable. And the power of Donald Trump. Uh, he's getting more and more powerful as a president. He is getting to be a very, very exceedingly powerful president in, in geopolitically speaking in the world, you know, uh, other than other presidents who weren't listened to. I mean, the whole world's sitting up in attention right now at every word that comes out of Donald Trump on Twitter. <laughs> Seriously, you know, <laughs> and 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 uh, I mean, other presidents, you know, were like lame duck. I mean, they were, but Donald Trump is getting to be more and more powerful in the world every day. Uh, I mean, uh, they're, they're <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, uh, he's he's quite a president we got here. I'll tell you what. Uh, anyway, listen, this has been this report for this morning. Thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to head over to uh, the Delta Report if you're interested in Litecoin and where it might be going. Uh, we'll see you guys later, and uh, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye for now.